All right, YouTubers, Patrick Lundgren here for Gary's Outdoors. I'm going to show you how I fillet fish. A couple things you're going to want to have is a fillet knife, a sharpener, and a place to put the fillets when you're done. So, to get right to it. What I have here is a crappie from here in Minnesota that I caught earlier today. Obviously, it's still alive, not for long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to Take my knife and go under this fin and pull it up and I'm going to just make a cut here right just like that. All right now I'm going to take what I'm going to do is take the fillet knife go right down the spine just to the top of the dorsal fin. This is kind of like cutting an outline for your fillet. Kind of get in there until you start to feel the bones. You're just kind of making sweeping cuts. Now you'll be able to feel the bones. And you're going to cut just above them. You'll be able to feel them and pull them. Now I haven't done this in some time. It's been since last year. Now that the lakes are free and clear again to be fishing, I'm back at it. So I'm just pulling it back and just running the knife along the ribs here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take my knife, put it right here, I'm gonna poke right through, and kind of slightly pointing the knife down. I'm gonna run it down the rest of the fish, and then I'm gonna cut this loose right here. There you go. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Flip that fin up, draw back, cut down the spine. And then I'm going to work my way in there until I start to feel bones. Now I'm just kind of gently cutting above the, the, the bones as best I can. Now this does take practice just like anything else in life. It's going to take practice to get it perfect. So your first few fillets, you may deal with some bones. Well, that's fine. You're not, you know, I've never heard of anybody dying from choking on a fish bone yet. All right. So now I've got the two fillets there. I'm going to move the fish aside. I use my thumbnail, and I secure the back of the fillet, and I just run my knife right across here, kind of pushing down at a slightly angled down, which will cut the fillet loose. And it gives you a boneless fillet, which I'm putting in the water, and you discard the skin. So once again, I'm going to use my thumbnail, cut in slightly, and just kind of use a, almost a sawing motion and a slightly downward turned blade, and it separates everything from the skin. Quick and simple. And then you dispose of the fish. Now the leftover fish can be used for a lot of things, put it in your garden or whatever. I live in an apartment so I'm throwing it away. So, going to the next fish. This is a, another crappie. This one's quite a bit larger as you can see. So the bigger the fish, the little bit easier they are to fillet unless you get into a northern pike. Because they have a lot more bones in them. I'm actually exploring the option of pickling pike because I understand that pickling the fish will help dissolve the bones so it'd be a bit like having uh, pickled herring for those of you who know what that is. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but I'm starting to feel the bones and hear the bones. It's the nice scrapes across the top of them. So I'm just separating the meat from the bones. Poke and point slightly down with the blade side down and remove that fillet. Now I'm not perfect at this at this point in time because, well, it's been almost a full year since I've done this. Every year it takes me a little bit of practice to get back into it. So again, secure with thumbnail, point blade slightly down and just run it right across the back. A 
And then into the water, I like to soak them in water. It takes a little bit of the gaminess out of them. The blood, don't worry about that. It's not going to hurt anything. It dissipates in the water just like anything else. All right, so on to the next fish. Right after I clean my board a little bit. I don't use your wife's towels and stuff like that for this because, well, she'll probably not be happy with you. These are some that I have from, that I bought specifically for fishing. All right, so next fish. Got another crappie here. Ideally, I soak these in ice water um, because I just think it works well and it gets them a nice texture for when you cook them. That's just my personal opinion. Now, you guys all fillet fish in different ways. There's probably as many ways to fillet fish as there are people out there, but you know, I hope this was some help and uh, I hope you'll watch my video. Uh, subscribe below and uh, thank you and have a good day. Mm -hmm.